Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, the 1940s Germany campaign. Historical, or at least mostly, but I am very much considering moving away from the whole historical thing because it's making it very, very difficult. Especially with the torpedo spam that the British are putting up. I have been able to reduce the British fleet, but they still have 40 ships, including 8 battleships, and I only have 2 battleships, which have proven largely ineffective with their light shells. On top of that, because I have so few active ships, I am losing transport ships very quickly. I just lost 13 transports, and that is going to hurt my economy, because I'm down to 96% transport capacity. It's not as bad as in one of the other campaigns, but it's definitely not good. Now, I am 20% through building out my shipyard. Um, at the point when this is finished, I am going to have a very large dockyard. And I'll probably build some mega battleship. The problem, however, is um, that's going to take a lot of time. And once I have this completed, then I'm probably going to be spending four years building out another battleship. So I have some issues. Anyway, we have a couple of battles coming up. We got here a DD versus a DD. We also have an ambush of six DDs of mine versus two DDs of theirs. And we have an actual battle. One BB versus one BB. The Voltaire. Hmm. This could be interesting. A battleship brawl. They get eight 14 inch guns. They get torpedo tubes. Yikes. Uh, I also have torpedo tubes, however. Yeah, let's do this. If we can take down the Voltaire, that is one of the three French battle battleships out of commission. And there are no escorts. Nothing. So, buddy, let's fight it out, shall we? Um, eventually, because I probably don't even have the range. No, yeah, I do, kind of. Green level crew. I believe theirs was too. What's this French BB look like? Tell me. Two and two. Okay. 14 inch guns, so they are smaller, but... Doesn't mean they're not any more or less deadly than my guns. Uh, make a starboard turn. Slow to full speed. Get that accuracy bonus. Sea state. Clear weather. Calm wind. Calm waves. Pretty good battle conditions. This is just going to be a slugfest. Don't torp unless I tell you to. I've got 21 inches ranging 14.8. Um, I'm considering using these more of a, a close-in brawler weapon. Because this is the sister ship to the turpets. This is the last surviving Turpets class ship. Yeah, that's... That's on the same planet as the other battleship, but it's not exactly where I would want those shells to go. Very good. 6% chance to hit. ID, 28. Parcel pens. At this range, how about AP to get plunging fire? A couple of deck pens could really pull some damage in on that ship. Damage to the main tower, yes! A few more where that came from, please. Because damage to the main tower means less accuracy. Ricochet, nice try. Now, your torpedo tubes, where are they? There. They're not oriented towards my ship yet. So that leads me to believe that they are not actively targeting me yet, because they probably don't have range. If they don't have range at 14 kilometers, then they could be 12 sevens. So that's torpedo ranging 12.7 kilometers. Could be useful. My torpedoes are in range. And this guy has shown absolutely no signs of changing direction. Let's just send out a salvo. Because by the time that I should be in very close range, they'll be reloaded. Whenever you feel like it. I mean, you are in range. Thank you. Personal pen, fire. Secondaries are opening up. At this point, I'm getting pretty much exposed to their fire. 11% chance to pen? Wow. Fire control damaged. Yeah, that's the stuff. That means their accuracy is going to be fried. 
Identification. Hold on, the torpedo tubes are now looking at me. Not great. Destroyed secondary tower as well? What sort of baguette armor are you using? You cannot armor your ship with a croissant. I mean, this is not going to work. Voltaire. Inform me. This is not a badly armored ship. Although, if you put zero armor in your superstructure, I will blow it up. There, torpedoes away. 12.6. I was not far off saying they were 12.7s. They just torped me. They're minus 75% visibility, so we're just going to turn away. <clears throat> we're just going to turn away. What's your chance to detect? Sonar 3. Yeah, of course you got that. Of course you got that. Doesn't mean you're going to actually use it. Maintain AP pressure. Yes! That's more like it. Conning Tower has been destroyed. They're losing a lot of crew. And they're overcorrecting on the turn. That means that that torpedo, which is somewhere in their wake, could hit them. Causing even more flooding and potentially locking up their rudder even more. Yes, that's more like it. Voltaire is just getting taken apart. Even though she has pretty much the same price tag as my ship. Interesting, you're not fast. You got Crypt 4 armor, Barbet 4 armor, Anti Torp 4, Reinforced Bulkhead 2, Anti Flood 2, Citadel 4. Okay. Semi ballistic AP shells. Okay. Standard shell size, increased ammo for those shells, 2 powder 2, TNT. Oh, that's where you're cheaping out. You got electric torpedoes, 20 inch squinsons, sonar 3, and generation 3 radar? Yeah, but if you don't protect your tower, then you're not really going to have any use for it. I mean, this could be a very dangerous battleship, because she could be extremely accurate. But not like this. Turn it back to starboard again. I mean, her accuracy is 5%, if that. Minus 28. Because the Kaiser is just casually, well, taking this thing apart one shot at a time. Turret switching over to starboard. Can you even pen me? Not really. Whoa! Destroyed a main gun. It's your X turret out of commission. Engines are out. You should be losing a lot of speed. More pens. At this rate, I'm not even going to need my torpedo dupes to do any further kill damage. Though now I probably can't really pen them. I mean, HE Saldo. Hit, more to port. Damage another main gun. <laughs> Finally, some revenge for the Bismarck. That was not pretty. That last battle. She was doing so, so well. And then she got torped. Point blank range. And much to my chagrin, she flooded out entirely. Torp it if you can. It is away. She can't very well turn. The only thing that she could do is slow down, so much so that my torpedo solution is completely off. Let's depend five and a half percent. Okay. Oh, and she is turning to starboard. Those torpedoes are not looking good. No. She's not flooding either. Whatever. I have time. Destroy the main gun. No, you didn't. That was the main gun you already destroyed. I have time. I'm in a good position. They can barely shoot me. And even if they do shoot me, they can barely hit me. So, yeah, I'm just going to take this thing apart slowly. Just burn it up. Kill their crew. Causing even more hurt to their ship. It's a cramped ship. Their damage control is reducing. Their damage control has been further reduced by losing the main conning tower. Torpedoes are no joy. It's fine. And they got one actual turret that can shoot me. Overpen, destroy the secondary gun. End the battle. That's wishful thinking. 
We're not going to let this French guy get away. See, the rest of the ship's pretty okay armored. 14 inch main belt, 7 inch, sorry, 7 8 4, 6 2 aft. She might be a bit out of balance. No, not that much. Longitudinal weight of set, 0 0.1. Really balanced ship, actually. Pitch is good, roll's not bad. Ah, it's a pretty good ship. Just that if it had superstructure armor and potentially some slightly bigger guns, it would be very dangerous. It could be so extremely accurate with Generation 3 radar and Coincidence 5. I don't even have a Generation 3 radar. Thirty-four percent. She continues to angle away, meaning that HE is really my only option here. Is it possible for me to pen their stern batteries? No. I would like to get the kill on this guy pretty quick, though. Me AP might bounce off. We still got plenty of AP and HE shells. It's fine. Oh, partial pens. Okay. <clears throat> I can't really flood out their stern anymore because it's already flooded. Ah, destroyed main tower again. I still don't get how you can destroy the main tower several times. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Destroyed it. Damaged the torpedo launcher. Did we really? See, this is one of those ships that I think is going to have a hard time flooding. Because she has so much freeboard, thanks to her additional 6.6% draft, that waves are really not going to slam onto the deck and then flood the rest of the ship out. I mean, the freeboard on this ship is far less. It has advantages and it has disadvantages as well. It means that your chances of um, getting hit are greater. Because you're just a bigger target. Structural integrity down to 27. They've lost 37% of their crew. I'm hoping I can blow away their torpedo launcher. Doing 12 knots. Increase the flank. I want to bypass that ship. And pump AP into the side. Because I am running slowly but steadily out of HE shells. That's concerning. Here too. I got the four inchers left. You still turning? Not really. Got eight torpedoes left. Sadly, my torpedoes don't do a whole lot. Not with that torpedo blister over theirs. Destroy the secondary gun. Keeping a very close eye on this torpedo launch. The moment that hits the water, I'm turning. This is just not going to cut it. I mean, the fires are adding up. But my ability to start fires is getting reduced. Go on. You know you want to. You probably got a functioning torpedo launcher in there as well. She's not launching. Yet. It's weird. I will. Torpedoes are away. <clears throat> I wonder, is she still trying to keep her stern towards me or something? It feels like she's ever so slowly turning to starboard. Constantly. But it could be just my misinterpretation of what the ship is doing. Yeah, she's turning ever so slightly to starboard. Hmm. Her chance to pen me should be pretty decent now. 15%, not that decent. She still hasn't torped me. 
I have five HE shells left. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. <clears throat> oh, you damaged my rudder. Huh. This is the point where I could get torpedoed. Let's keep some respectable distance from the Voltaire. And I guess we're firing AP now. Oh, there you go. That's more like it. My torpedoes anywhere to be seen? Yeah, they all missed. Flooding, flooding, destroy the torpedo launcher. She just torped me. Dick move. That's the player who just torped the battleship. Also, I thought I just blew your torpedo launcher up. Yeah, the, both their torpedo launchers are out. Just that they seemingly haven't quite gotten that memo, or they launched just before I hit them. More flooding, that's a full pan, structural integrity 11%. Let's just do a donut. Full turn to port, and then come in from the other side. That way I know that their torpedoes are going to miss me anyway. Holy! There they are. Their buoyancy is holding. No, it's not. It's slowly dropping. Suddenly a whole lot less freeboard on this ship. Good. Very good. Everything ricochets. No matter. I still have hundreds of shells left. Just annoying that my rudder got damaged. Now the ship doesn't really want to listen to my turn anymore. Buoyancy's 32. 31. I'm still trying to get used to this new flooding mechanic. 29. Because I'm so used to seeing, once this flooding stops, it just stops. Like once you have the flooding contained, once that icon disappears, the flooding stops. But then they change that, so the flooding slowly continues. I think it has to do with the speed of the ship, but I'm not exactly sure how much of a factor that is. So most of the time I just immediately pull a stop as best I can and try not to take any more flooding. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I think it also has to do with the pitch of the ship. Because this ship is very stable. Bismarck in the previous video, in the previous battle, was not. She listed over very badly and probably had her deck awash causing all sorts of additional floodings that could not be contained. And then she went down. This thing took some doing six and a half or six thousand one hundred damage. Fifty three hundred sorry, fifty four hundred actual damage and then seven hundred damage in floodings. Oh, sorry, fires. There she goes. Kaiser Wilhelm der Große coming out on top. She's gonna take, I think, two months in the dry dock to get her fixed up. But that is a very nice amount of victory points. Job done. Bye bye, Frenchies. That puts us about even. Okay, let's do some one-on-one -on -one destroyer fight. The V3 versus the Tilbury. This thing, minimum bulkheads. I should be able to gun it down so long as I don't get my ass torpedoed. They're somewhere south. Okay, go. All right, there she is. Let's make this a clean battle, maintaining some range, using the sonar on this ship so I can still see when the torpedoes are going to be expected. And just gun it down. Slow down to full speed, boost accuracy, and make sure that I see the torpedoes, turn away from them, and just gun this thing down. Because that's what my destroyer does better than theirs. For some reason theirs isn't even shooting me yet, but they have spotted me. You know what? Pitch the torpedoes. Give them something else to worry about. That fire is getting extremely inaccurate again. Why are you staying on your current course? I don't trust this. Yep, there's the launch. You should be seeing my torpedoes by this point. They haven't. They still haven't? No way. You're not that blind. Tilbury is reloading. 
3.9 clicks. I don't want to get too close because I have experience with killing these things. And last time around, I believe I lost one destroyer. Needlessly. Still reason fire. I'm hoping I can get a, a flooding on her to make sure she just slows down. CDs can be obnoxiously hard to hit. 11% chance to hit. That's good. There you go. Destroy the torpedo launcher. Most of the ship's burning. It's only a 9.1 million destroyer, but hey, it's a destroyer. It's a ship. It is a combat platform. It needs to go. 31, 34% crew have lost. Minimum bulkheads, cramped quarters. You don't want to serve abort one of these classes of ship. Another torpedo launcher has been destroyed. You don't do that. How many torpedo launchers you got left? This one died. This one died. So it's the dual launcher that fired. No, it was the quad? How? How did you do that? Is that a bug? Or is this again a situation just like with the battleship where the thing died just... Just after I shot it. Or just after it launched. Anyway, she's done 45 damage. I have done 2400. She'll be dead soon. And we can get a couple more destroyers eliminated from the Brits. That ought to make my life for the transports, for the convoys, hopefully safer. Because I don't want to lose too many more convoys. And I need a few more months to get more destroyers out there. There she goes. That's Tilbury eliminated. Quick battle. Done. 143 points. Not bad. Moving right along. Ambush. Six of my destroyers versus two of theirs. They now have 39 ships, among which 10 destroyers. So let's make that eight destroyers, shall we? I just have to be a bit careful to not get torpedoed by them. Uh, yeah, we're all going to just steady course, steady course. Let's find them. Here we go. This time around, I have six destroyers. So, if everything opens up, that is 35-inch guns. It's a lot of firepower. I just have to be worried about torpedoes. And a lot of them at that. Now, feel free to torpedo these guys whenever you get the chance. Torpedoes away from the two. With the sonar arrays on these torpedo boats slash destroyers, I should have very little difficulty engaging these guys, spotting the torpedoes, and turning away before they become a problem. I'm going to pincer them between the V1 and the V4 and the other group. They're already doing pretty bad. What I don't get about the Brits is why they don't retaliate with their guns. Because I know they have them. Look at all the torpedoes. Out, out, outbound. Uh, more outbound here. There. That's for you. Everybody, panic. <laughs> Wait, we hit one? Yeah, we hit him with a torpedo. Nice. Very nice. The entire div is currently turning around away from the torpedo threat. Perfect. Oh, they're so close together that even if I don't hit the one, I'll hit the other. We got the skate and the other one's currently being worked on. The Lennox. Is he the one that took the torp? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to run this by me. This guy took a torpedo. With minimum bulkheads. And she's not flooded. Where on a destroyer do you take a torpedo with minimum bulkheads and don't flood? That's something I cannot fathom. I don't understand. How do you do that? 
focus on the Linux and slow down. You are starting, starting to get return fire. Oh, there's more torpedo hits. This guy got the message, and he is flooding on the bow. You focus on the skate. Push in with these a bit more. Go on, Lennox. You know what's going to happen. Flooding on the skate as well. There goes the Lennox. The skate is now getting all the attention. And they have done zero damage. My ships haven't been hit at all. I'd say that is a good battle. At least for me. Go on, Skate. Skate doesn't want to flood. Skate doesn't get a say. Okay, two destroyers eliminated. It's probably 300 victory points or so. I'm 241, not bad. Zero for the Brits. Zero damage. I lost three crew, however. Let's make sure the add crew is on. Uh, fleet, add crew. This way I know that they're going to get resupplied. Kaiser's going to be out for two months, as predicted. The Hipper, three months. The Thor, one month. The V3, one month. This guy, one month. And in two months, the rest of the destroyer fleet will be ready. Um, as the last bit of this episode, I'm going to design a new destroyer. It's going to be absolutely unhistorical. Absolutely unhistorical. The reason that I want a new destroyer is to hunt down those annoying cruisers of theirs. So it's going to be pretty expensive at that. It's not going to be a cheap ship because I'm going to use this to hunt down big ships. Gas turbines might be a bit much. What about turboelectric? 39 million. That's very expensive. Gear turbines. Standard quarters. Uh, lowering the beam. A wider hull is more stable. Increased displacement and resistance, but generally slower, less maneuverable, large target. No. We're going to make this thing sleek. Drafts. A taller and consequently a larger hull is a less stable shooting platform, but is more resistant against flooding and can carry more load, while the operational range becomes increased by its ability to maintain the cruising speed with less wave resistance. Yeah. Let's just keep that at zero for now. Okay, this thing is a pure gunboat, so everything should be geared towards base accuracy or long-range accuracy, or both. What about the targeting tower? That's seven and a half. Here. Okay. Anti-flood, yes please. Acoustics, absolutely. Radar, generation three. Rangefinder, coincidence. More base gun accuracy. Funnel. Right there. Engine efficiency shall be fixed. Turning radius. 582. Hell no. Shaft 3. Turning radius 399. Unbalanced rudder. 335. Uh, 258. That's more like it. Okay. <clears throat> Next. What else do I need? This is okay. I could reduce maximum bulkheads. It's not going to matter that much. It's half a million and displacement is 50 tons. I'd rather have it than not have it. When it comes to firepower, I'm thinking triples and a lot of them. Just a pure gunboat. That means that it will have torpedo tubes, but more as an afterthought than anything else. Can I put a barbet here? No, but I can't put a barbette there. What else can I do? Um, nah, that's... What? Wow. I didn't know that was a thing. It looks stupid, though, and it really messes with the balance offset. No. Um, what if I shrink him down? 17 million. That would boost the turning circle to 160. Hold on. This funnel has to be in its place. There. Q. 
here. Go away. Get a secondary tower again. Here. Or wait, I've said <clears throat> not great. It reduces the price to 17 million. I just need to add torpedo launchers to it. Like, ah, just behind the bridge would be great. I'm going to have to go with something slightly bigger. Go on, there. Firing angle there is pretty terrible. Still 14% for weight? Really? 13. 12. Model back. Why are you so heavy on the bow? What if I put the torp launcher on the stern? Torpedo. This is 34 tons. This is 96 tons. There. Boom. Fixed. Put that there. Torpedo tubes can be just 18 inches. I don't mind. Just 18 inch oxygens. So very long range. Pitch is terrible. Make it a triple. Pitch is still shit. Okay. So, at any rate, I got 15 5 inch guns with a turning circle of 191. That's fantastic. We're going to make these as good as we can. Uh, that is auto loading. And um, I could make them super heavy shells with capped ballistic. This should be enough to very quickly gun down one of their light cruisers. Maybe heavy cruisers too. Maybe heavy cruisers even. And when it comes to HE, incendiary shells are no joke. You can pretty quickly burn down a ship with incendiary if it doesn't have a lot of bulkheads, which most of the British ships do. What if I go base fuse? Let's say I'm 5,000 meters out, 2.2 inches. 5,000 meters put me way too close to one of those light cruisers, though. Hmm. This is going to severely reduce my capability of starting fires. Uh, but then super heavy shells kind of offset that. More itchy shell damage, more shell damage flat. Two powder. Yeah, this thing can really dish out a lot of damage. Very quickly. I'm going to go back to incendiary so I can still harass heavy cruisers. Right, this is the first completely unhistoric ship that I have built in this campaign. And the reason is just flat out annoyance with the AI and their crazy torpedo spamming ability. 38 knots, 39 knots. Wow. Pretty expensive. It's 25 million each, but two of these are still cheap. Well, three of these even are still cheaper than one light cruiser. And they will take down light cruisers like no business. Double hull bottom. Less torpedo damage by 5%. Uh, if this thing takes a torpedo, it's going to have a problem anyway. Don't worry about that. It'll have a problem. Hmm... Good enough. B31. Let's order a few. It's probably going to take, what, 10 months to build? Seven months! I like it. I'll take four. Thank you. That's going to be a bit of an expensive uh, run. Let's reduce tech budget. It's the easiest way to save money. Anything interesting coming up in tech? Ah, yeah, the better Mark 15 inch guns. Mark 4s. Okay, that's good. Anything else? Explosives, torpedo tubes, don't care. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. That's going to just give me modern triple base. That's pretty good. Let's boost that as well. And that'll be it. Alright guys, what do we have coming up for the next episode? Let's see. Well, this is what we have coming up for the next one. The Comet V1, V12 and V4 are going to take on the Battleship Hood. Yes, it's a battleship now.
And it has standard bulkheads, a lot of guns, but only cadet level crew. So that is what we're going to be sinking next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.